What's going on, everybody? It's Dot Bets. We're checking back in. We have our week 16 best bet show coming at you guys here on the Occupy Fantasy YouTube channel. As always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and let me know what your favorite bet of the week is in the comment below. We had another stellar week here last week. Nice sweep, uh, 3-0. and We'll recap that shortly. Uh, but as always, make sure you guys check out OccupyFantasy.com. Uh, they have all types of DFS strategies. And make sure you guys join the Discord. That is absolutely where it's at. Uh, hit that Join button below. Uh, you get 24-7 access to the greatest minds in the DFS game. I believe so. Um, so uh, if this is your first time tuning in, we have another total for you guys. We have another favorite prop of the week, and we have our teasers, uh, another 7.3 team teaser. Uh, we have hit those, I think now it's six of eight. Uh, so it is, uh, we have dominated those teasers, uh, once again. Um, so without further ado, let's go. Quick recap of week 15. We once again swept the board 3 0 plus three units. The Cowboys Jaguars game flew the over 47 and a half total. Uh, that game was exciting to watch. The pick six to end it. Week 15 in general was amazing to watch. Um, and then you had Dalvin Cook over 68 and a half, crushed it craziest comeback in NFL history. Um, so, uh, you know, in the first half, he had that 40-yard run, thought he could end up getting there, but it was a bad game script, and he uh, he luckily got over, I think it was 96 rush yards and close to about 150 total yards. So he had a dominant game. Uh, and then we are teaser. The Ravens pushed plus 10, so it went down to a 7 point. Uh, two team teaser for minus 140, and we got that with the Bills edging the Dolphins, and then we had the Eagles edging the Bears, uh, nicely. Uh, so to get that one, so three and oh, plus three units total, we are 18 and 12 for plus 6.75 units. So let me know, guys, in the comments below if you guys have been cashing with me. Uh, we've put a nice little run together here on these, uh, on these shows. All right. Let's get to our first pick of the week. We are going to go with a over in the Bengals Patriots game over 41 and a half minus one Oh five for one unit. Got that over on DraftKings. Uh, it's a little bit of a strange game. There's a lot of weather concerns this week. This game in particular is just going to be very cold, but I think the wind gets out. The day before, uh, I think the max wind gust is 15 miles an hour. Uh, so it, it shouldn't affect anything too crazy in this one. Uh, at 41 and a half, it's creeped up from 40 and a half where it, where it started. Uh, but I, I think this Bengals offense uh, showed last week in the second half what it could do against good defenses. Patriots are 0 and 4 against teams over 100, and they are 23rd in D. VOA defensively against those teams. So you put a good offense against them, they're going to put up points. And then this is a Patriots team that just lost the, in the most disgusting way possible. You know, Bill Belichick is going to have uh, his ducks in a row and make sure the offense is crisp. Uh, defense should be crisp, but uh, what I just said, it, it probably won't be. Uh, you got Burrow, Higgins, Chase, Mixon to deal with. I think there's too much offensive firepower here. Uh, the line, I think, is a little bit low for the Bengals, uh, but the but the Patriots in general should be able to put up enough points to get this over. It's going to be, I think, a little bit more lopsided with the Bengals. Um, both teams have averaged uh, over 20-plus points in the last three games uh, with the Bengals averaging 28, and then you have the uh, Patriots at 20.3. So 48.5 points combined basically between the two in the last three games. 
I'm all for this over. think the number is just slightly too low with the offensive firepower with the Cincinnati Bengals and what can be of the Patriots offense. We'll get to our best bet player prop of the week. Going to go with another Minnesota Vikings player, not Dalvin Cook. We have Justin Jefferson over 89 and a half receiving yards, minus 114 for one unit over on FanDuel. And I, as always, will pull up the Occuprop radar here. This is a free tool on OccupyFantasy.com. Uh, they, you simply type in any player, team, or game in here, and you can shop your best lines throughout all different types of sports books. So we come down here total receiving yards and it spits out over 89 and a half right here on FanDuel minus 114 and shows you all different types of props and where they're at look the, you know the best lines are at at each at each sports book and make sure you guys are taking advantage of the deposit bonuses in the description below if you are in a legal uh, betting state uh, so make sure you guys are doing that but reasons why for Justin Jefferson, uh, you know, the, the best wide receiver in the game currently uh, now that Cooper Cup is hurt. Uh, the, the books can't set this number high enough, basically, because he's had over 100 yards in, I want to say, like eight straight or eight, not eight straight, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in eight games, eight, or not, sorry, nine of the 14 games that he's played. He has had over a hundred yards, and you just can't you can't can't put the the number high enough, basically. Uh, and this matchup is perfect for him because the Giants play a ton of man defense. He eats up man coverage because nobody can guard him. You saw the move that he put on Gilmore last week. He averages three point three yards per route for man coverage and two point eight, and when he's facing zone coverage. It, you know, it's it's a smash spot for him. It's a the highest total game of the week in a dome. Screams DFS stacks, screams everything, and I'm just gonna go with the best player on the field and go over 89 and a half receiving yards for uh, Justin Jefferson, who has cashed this over in 10 of 14 games and three of his last four. All right, let's keep cashing these teasers. We are gonna go back to the well with a three-team seven-point teaser for plus 130. We are going to go with the Chiefs, minus three. They're usually always a staple for my uh, for my teasers. And we're going to go to the Panthers to move them up to plus 10. And then the 49ers straight up in a pick em. Uh, So the Chiefs are at home versus the Seahawks. Current line is 10, should be able to win by a, uh, a field goal. Uh, Seahawks are beat up defensively and offensively with injuries. I think Lockett will miss this game for sure. Walker is going to play. We'll see how effective he will be, but the Chiefs will be full-blown uh, offensively and defense defensively. McKinnon, Pacheco, uh, Kelsey, Juju, Mahomes. I mean, th they should roll, uh, but I'm going to get a nice little teaser here with the Chiefs minus three. Um, then we're going to go to the Panthers-Lions game. Uh, tricky line here with the Lions, only two and a half. Uh, so I'm going to tease that, or sorry, it's, it's at plus three. Uh, so I'm teasing that up to double digits. I think this Panthers team can make it close. The game last week against the Steelers was a little bit more of a fluke. Uh, I just... For some reason, they couldn't get off the field defensively. Uh, I don't see that happening this week. I think they have a better game plan uh, against this line's offense. That is playing much, much better. Uh, but being only two-and-a-half-point road favorites, I think Vegas knows something here. Uh, I'm going to keep this within single digits. And then the 49ers versus Commanders, we are going to get it down to a straight-up pick em. I think – this is going to be a, a hard-fought game. I've seen a lot of people take the Commanders uh, with the points. So I, you could tease it up that way. I'm going to tease it down below with the with the 49ers minus – or for basically a pick them. Um, just think they can get this the, this done with the lethal firepower uh, defensively. I know they're going to miss Debo in this game as well, but they, uh, they should uh, – 
and then the commanders get Chase Young back. So that should be a, a big boost. Um, under right here is 37 and a half. So this should be a close fought game. Give me the 49ers to pull it out. So that is the Chiefs, Panthers, and the 49ers rounding out the three team seven point teaser. And as always, if you've enjoyed this content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and make sure to leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys each and every week. Your favorite bet. It could be a prop bet, spread, total, whatever it might be. Let me know in the comments. And, I'll, uh, and then you'll make sure you guys join the Discord as well. And that'll be it. Everybody have a happy holidays. And we should cash some tickets. See you guys.